us here at CBS 8, we've been working for you to help you keep your New Year's resolutions. And a popular resolution for many people this year, improving mental health and well-being. So joining us this morning to hopefully help you out, we have Stanford University physician, mindfulness expert, professor, Dr. Greg Hammer. Good morning to you, Greg. Good morning, Netta. Wonderful to be with you. We're glad to have you on because I do think mental health is at the forefront, as it should be. Uh, why do you think this is, first of all, a popular resolution for this year of uh, mental health and well-being? I mean, it all goes hand in hand, right? Yes, it certainly does. Uh, you know, there's one thing I used to say that all seven billion of us want, but I, I'm told that it's now uh, eight billion. <laughs> and, and so that one thing that we all want is happiness and everything else we do is really toward that end. So that certainly goes to our physical and mental health. For our physical health, I think the three uh, elements, the three legs of the tripod on which our physical health rests are sleep, exercise, and nutrition. And we need to have a plan really to optimize those. And the four pillars of our spiritual, emotional well-being are gratitude, acceptance, intention, and non-judgment. Yeah. And they form the acronym GAIN, which is the title of my first book. Yeah. Okay. Say that one more time for our viewers at home. GAIN, what does it stand for? What should we keep in mind? I think the, the four elements of happiness in terms of our psychic, spiritual well-being are gratitude, acceptance, intention, and non-judgment, and hence the acronym GAIN. I like that. Hopefully something people will take to heart and remember. And you mentioned your book, of course, and in, obviously you provide a lot of advice. Gain Without Pain is the title of this by Dr. Greg Hammer, The Happiness Handbook. Okay, so let's talk about this. We have just, you know, a few minutes here, but yeah. how can we improve our happiness, rewire our brain perhaps? What is, what is your suggestion? Well, our natural default way of thinking and being is rather negative, unfortunately, and also quite distracted with things of the past and future in, in ways that are really maladaptive. So we have trouble being fully present. And as John kabat Dr. kabat defined mindfulness, I think also happiness, is awareness of the present moment on purpose, non-judgmentally. The on purpose means we have to have a plan, otherwise we lapse into our default negative and very distracted right. way of being. So the GAIN practice is really just a three minute meditation in the morning, we open the blinds, we find a comfortable place to sit, we get in touch with our breathing, we slow it down, and then we contemplate that for which we're grateful, and I think we all have much for which to be grateful. Mm -hmm. We then move to acceptance, and pain is really just as much a part of our life as joy, and we can't just sugarcoat that. So we actually target something that's uncomfortable or painful, bring it closer to our chest, actually while we're breathing with our eyes closed, imagine opening our heart and bringing in this painful experience and enveloping it, nurturing it, and fully accepting it. Oh. And then we go to intention again. We need to have a plan. We need to be intentional. So we remind ourselves we want to focus on our gratitude, acceptance, and non judgment. We move to non judgment. We might picture a beautiful image of the earth suspended in space, for example, and tell ourselves the earth is neither good nor bad. It simply is as it is. Yeah. And then it's only rational for us to think of ourselves the same way. We are neither bad nor good. Right. We are simply that which we are. And then we go back to our breath and slowly open our eyes and we're ready to go out in the world. I love this. Three minutes in the morning. This is really beautiful. And uh, for our viewers at home, Gain Without Pain is the book if you want to get more information. Thank you for your time this morning. It was great to see you. Absolutely, Netta. Anytime. I feel better already. <laughs>